My name is Tyler Hanker and I live on the Duck Valley Indian Reservation. We have a lot of culture here that is very interesting. Everyone here is really nice and they're all unique. They have something special to do whether it's a job or not. Duck Valley may be small and not like a city, but we treat everyone here as family. There are many unique things happening around you whether you see it or not. To be honest, I would say that Duck Valley is a one-of-a-kind place, but most importantly, it is our home. There are many artists here in Duck Valley. We like to do beadwork and other crafts. This jewelry was shown at the Veterans Day Powwow where many vendors like to sell their work. My favorite beadwork is all of the necklaces that are shown. Ranches are all around Duck Valley. Cowboying is a big part of our lifestyle. Today we are at the stockyards and we are um, recording the branding. There are also people here who work with leather and make saddles. Hola, one seat. Hi, what's your name? Uh, Ryan Carpenter. What do you do? Um, I build saddles part time. Why? Oh, a lot of reasons. Extra money, fun. Um, it's a good, good. Re it's actually a pretty good release most of the time from my regular job, so I can not think about other things and concentrate on things in here. Do you like making saddles? Yeah, I enjoy it. It's a lot of fun. Um, it uh, definitely has brought out some artisticness that I didn't realize I had, um, and it's construction, and I like I like building things, I like doing things with my hands, um, and like being able to take bare, you know raw products and turn them into a finished product. Something that's usable. How many hours do you think you would work on your making the saddles? Um, I figure if I build a basic rough out saddle, just a plain saddle with no stamping, um, I can usually get one built in 40 hours, 35 hours. Um, if it's a fully tooled saddle, it could take up to I don't know, 200 hours, 250 hours. Um, it really depends on what, what the customer orders, what they want. As you pass through our reservation, you might see a lot of hoop houses because we have a short growing season. Basically the hoop house concept is um, trying to grow our own fruit and vegetables for, for the sustainability of our people. And we want to go back to our roots you know, where way back, you know, in the early days, the Native American people, you know, they grew corn, um, potatoes, you know, there was wild potatoes, wild onions, and, you know, we want to start going back to some of those things so that we'll be able to eat a lot healthier than the people have in the past. Do you like planting? Oh, yes, it's, it's fun, you know, because once you, once you put that seed into the ground, it's just like education, you know. These teachers, they're teaching you guys, and they're planting the seed in your head, and you guys learn that way. So it's the same concept as when we plant that seed, we watch it grow. And, you know, when it, it, it produces the vegetables and fruits, you know, it makes you feel really good about yourself, about what you've done and accomplished. And that's how, you know, you guys will feel once you guys, you know, graduate from 12th grade and go on to college and you'll feel well accomplished. So it is it is a rewarding feeling. Well, we do workshops. Um, usually we try to do them twice a year. But we have ladies that come down every month and um, we want to get um, people into doing that, even doing that ourselves. Yeah, even for young people, you know, I mean, like I said, planting the seed, that's, you know, what we we want to instill in everybody, even you young kids, you know, eat healthy. Another thing you see in my town are cradle boards, which are the traditional way of carrying babies. How long does it take to make a cradle board? Mm, it just depends on uh, how much time you have. Um, it took me several days actually to do a little 
bit. Like scraping the willows takes um, time and I guess it just really depends on how much time you put into it. Do you gather the materials by yourself? I did, yes, with the help of uh, my husband and a friend who actually showed me how to do this process. Are you proud to make Um, This is actually my first one, but I am, I do feel proud of it and just looking at it makes me want to hopefully do more. Thank you for your time. Thank you. These are the lifestyles that are found in Duck Valley and I hope that you come and visit.